Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rakon here and welcome back to episode 2 of Noah's Tale. Cataclysm Dark Days ahead. Now, back in the game. Something I noticed upon hitting V. So we can see that we're cold. We're going to be getting cold, so I'm going to hit shift and the at symbol. And that's going to bring up our character here. So we can see everything about Noah here. It's our torso encumbrance, as we could see earlier on, the strength, her skills. As we can see, she's slowly actually getting better at certain things. Um, <laughs> 2% melee, and that's just from smashing windows. So we can see that you know, she's slowly getting better over time. Um, she has a chilly mouth. She's currently deaf, and that's from firing a gun earlier. Um, we will tr want to try and craft something um, to try and get rid of that. We can see that we're still in pain as well, but this cold is coming from her mouth. So it would be nice to be able to try and craft a balaclava or not a balaclava but a, a something like a scarf to actually keep her just that little bit warmer would be nice but um we're gonna need scissors or a knife or something to do that and right now we don't really have any of those things um so she's kind of just gonna have to go on by with the cold mouth for the time being so i really want to check out the cave because I'm curious as all hell, but I'm I'm just gonna stay away from it. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay away from it for now. Um, a music store that's new. I just saw the M there, and I just realized I hadn't actually seen that before. Few gun stores in town, which is good. Uh, lots of potential ammunition sources, um, but all these houses as well. There are gonna be a lot of a lot of dead around there, so we're gonna want to try and make our way as carefully as possible. So, I feel like we've explored all that we can in this house so far, but in saying that, hello, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I was going to try and get some pipe so that we could actually make a basic melee weapon and actually have a crowbar, but I think that's a little bit too much to ask at this stage. But we probably will go and grab that rock because I don't think we have anything that has a hammering kind of ability at the moment. Let's see. We we do have more dead up the top. Peach tree. That's new. Okay. Let's go grab a rock. Just so that we know that we've got one. Let's grab it. Okay, so we've still got some we've we've still got a decent amount of room actually. Um I really want to try and get to those houses, but in saying that, I might have a better chart a bit of shot by going down to the southwest because most things seem to be coming from up here so if we can get away from them and get down to these other houses we might have a better chance at going undetected and you can see that it's warning us now about um potential frost nip we don't want that so being inside will actually help us with that as well because we'll be out of the wind we can see our temperature is rising while we're outside though because it is sunny and so far we're not seeing any dead down here which is really good so i don't know if that's going to last but we'll try doors locked of course it's locked so we're going to have to smash a window which is a real pain in the ass Damn it. So they will hear that and they will start coming. So we can't really hang around for too long. Teapot. Tempting. But uh, no. Um, let's see. There is a decent amount of food in here. Question is, what's going to be best for us? Uh, TV dinner is a decent amount of nutrition, but it also weighs quite a lot. Yeah, so we're going to go for the Sloppy Joes, which are still fresh. We'll eat those. Um, grab the Lemon, as it is by itself. Enjoyability isn't great, though, so I'll probably I'll just stay away from it for now. Um, we're going to grab the Yogurt and the Glass Jar of Fruit Jam. It's enjoyable, and there's a decent amount in there as well, so we'll grab it. Actually, that's a, that's a ton. Are there 24 fruit jams in there? Oh, no, 24 portions. Okay, it's just a very big glass jar. The volume is 12. It's massive. 
That's 6.4 kgs of gem! <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a 3 litre glass jar. Sorry, I didn't realise that. I thought it was a 31 glass jar. I th for some reason, just didn't make sense in my mind, but... 3 litre glass jar of fruit jam. Wow, holy crap. Okay, so that's that's quite large, but that will also be really good for carrying water as well, so... Yeah, we're going to grab this um, bag of radio plum as well. This is going to take up a lot of our inventory for now, but um, I think it's worth it. Uh, let's see, coffee powder. Oh god, I would need that. Mm. It, is, it is only volume one. We're going to take it for now. Okay, let's check out the rest of the house while we're here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, hit C to close both those curtains. Winter boots. I'd love them, they don't fit, and it's not really winter yet, so I'm not so concerned about that. Book of the Sub-Genius. It's just for fun, so we're not going to worry. The Rain Hood could be handy. Let's see if we can wear it. Uh, we can, and I have no idea what that just did to our character. Just put some strange thing on the front of her. So I might actually just take that off for now. Yeah, yeah. Pair of hard arm guards. I'm thinking about it. I am thinking about it. But they don't fit. They give us a decent amount of protection. Hmm. Let's let's put them on for now and just see what how, how much it kind of what the negative effect of that. It affects the stamina cost of melee attacks and accuracy with ranged weapons. Yeah, no, we're going to want to take those off. Um, we don't want to risk missing shots. We're most likely going to be taking lots of close range shots, so it shouldn't be too bad, but still, we don't want to, we just don't want to risk it. 101 wrestling moves. Uh, we don't really have the ability to carry lots of books at the moment, so I'm not going to be collecting them. Unless they're something really good. Ooh, there's a basement. Ooh, there's a basement. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna check the basement out. Um yeah, yeah, dusk mask. We're gonna wear that. That's gonna slow us down. Um we can see that it encumbers our mouth, but it is gonna give us a little bit of warmth. We're under a stimulant for some reason. I don't remember taking anything. We are still wearing our, our earphones, which should be in improving our mood, and it is, which is good, um, but you can see that's going to be chewing through the batteries, but it's doing that very slowly, so we're just going to, we're going to, until this guilty about killing the child goes away, we're going to leave them on, and we're going to head down, oh god, no we're not, get out of there, we're covered in webs, okay, that basement is full of spiders, we're going to get the fuck out of here. We want nothing to do with those spiders. Um, I think that's this house raided. So let's go and get out of here. Back outside. Okay. Now, what have we got? Grab a zombie. What are you? Grab a zombie, yeah. And it looks like another bicycle, and it looks like it could actually be missing wheels. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to come down as south as I can, try and lose track of that grab a zombie, although I think he has probably seen us by now. No, we seem to be okay. Okay, let's keep on moving. You see that we are quite close to the forest down here. Okay, let's start heading up towards the house. There's a giant wasp. Um, I don't know where. Oh god, it's coming for us. Oh shit, we could be in trouble. That could be really, really bad. Um, options here. Uh, wait for it to come closer, which I think could be a good option. We're just going to be hitting pause. I'm going to take a precise shot. Oh, we did good damage, but it's still alive. And we've got recoil. I'm going to try and back up. No, good god. That was an accident. That was a very, very good accident. Okay, so what happened there was I hit F to fire, um, when I shouldn't have. 
um, I was going to start trying to move backwards, which means that that wasp would have been able to hit me. But I figured that my recoil was so much that I was going to miss it. But by the gods of Cataclysm, we somehow managed to survive that without getting impaled by that wasp. Um, at this stage, Noah doesn't have any kind of armor at all. That would have poisoned her, and it would have probably been a very, very quick death. So we were very, very, very lucky there. Uh, one of the negative things about being in forest is you're going to be close to those things. And also, as we know, she is she has quite a strong scent to animals. So something that we need to watch out for. They will come streaming for her, um, as that wasp did. Now, there doesn't seem to be any others in the area, but there are there are zombies in this bus over here. So I think that we might be able to do a quick smash and grab on this house. Also, because we've fired the gun, they are going to be coming from every direction. Uh, so we just want to, we kind of want to get in. We want to get out nice and quick. We're in. Creaming soda. Let's grab it. Sunglasses. Let's wear them. Leather corset. It actually fits. Uh, and it gives a basic kind of protection. Let's wear it. Okay, leather corset. Now I'm going to hit plus so I can see our layers here. We're going to go over to torso and we're going to put that one next to the skin as it says that's where it fits best. The large quiver we don't need. We, we really don't need that right now. Um, but we're able to hold on to it and I'm not going to be doing any melee for the time being so we'll hold on to it for now. But we can see that it, um, yeah, volume six, so it's going to be weighing us down. The encumberment is seven. It's not, it's not great. We, we, we don't want to have that for too long. Uh, that zombie's seen us already. There is an electric, no, there's a saxophone up here. Interesting. Um, oh crap, they're all here. We're going to grab that thread. We're going to close that. Uh, we've got some more thread in here, it looks like. Oh, shoot. Here they come. Close the door. Um, let's actually close that window. Might not be smart enough to figure that out. Okay. I'm going to hit Shift V, and I'm just going to see what's in the room that we can see so far. So, again, lots of food, it looks like, but again, nothing too vital to our survival. So, we're just going to quickly move on. They're going to smash through here any second. We just need to go. Now, front door could be bad. What's this we've got out here? A garage. What I really need is a clothing store. Because uh, we need a backpack. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a quick sprint to try and get out of here. So we're starting to run. Oh, that's a zombie brute. Okay, let's get out. So we're, we're now sprinting. What, a, what the hell are you? Feral runner. Perfect, feral runner. I'm guessing he's really fast. <laughs> okay, let's, let's just get out of town. What else we got? We got a boomer. Perfect. And a motorcycle. Yep, let's get the hell out. Okay, she's starting to get tired, so we're gonna, we're gonna stop running. Slow down to walk. So we're gonna keep this quick walking pace up and we're just gonna we're gonna keep on moving away from them. Okay, we've got a zombie soldier down here. Okay, it seems that most of them are up in the town, so we should be safe if we come down this way. Are you open? No, of course you're not. We're gonna have to smash this. Okay, I really shouldn't be smashing it with my gun. I do have other means to do that now. I've got a, I've got a rock, so, and there's no curtains on those. Spoon, spoon, spoon. Fire extinguisher. Mm, yeah, no. Oh come on. That's that feral runner. He is actually really fast. No, it can't be the same one. We're gonna let him get close, um, which is risky. He's smashing on the wall. Let him see us. Come on. 
Come on. There he is. I want him to get closer to us. I want him to get in that door frame. But he's just going to keep on whomping on that door, which means that the others are going to be even closer. Son of a bitch. Okay. He wants to play it that way. Let's see if we can take a precise shot. Okay. We got him. Let's back up. See if he comes through. He's not. We're going to hit F again. We're going to take aim. We're just going to wait until that steadiness goes up by hitting pause or full stop. And then we're going to take a precise shot. Son of a bitch. Okay. All right. One more shot should do it. So we're going to walk back again. Just wait till that recoil goes away. Get our steadiness up. Take a precise shot. And he's dead. God damn it. I'm now going to wield the rock. <laughs> As in the the one that I've got in my inventory. And um, we're going to smash his corpse with S. Okay, let's see what he's got. He's got a cash card, so I'm going to grab that. If you don't smash your corpses, they will come back to life. They're horrible zombies like that. Okay, we can probably put the rock away now. So let's just activate or wield our gun. And I'm going to reload now that we have a chance. There shouldn't be anything else that close to us as we did run away. That feral runner is probably the only thing. Although in saying that, there will be others that will be coming very soon. Bag of potato chips. Nah. Uh, we do have a sewing kit though, it looks like. So we're just going to get past that water. And there's a gallon jug as well. Mm. We'll take the sewing kit. The gallon jug we're probably going to have to leave for now. But we will take that. And I believe we're going to get the hell out of here. As there is a grabber coming for us. So I'm just going to come over down here to these windows. We're going to jump out the back. And we're going to be away. And hopefully... Ooh, there's an evac shelter down there. That's where we want to go. That place could be safe for us. We could stay there for the night. Um, it's currently 10.27, so I'm not super concerned about the time. I probably want to try and check out these other houses before we go. Although, in saying that, there are... There's quite a few zombies here. Now, so far, we've been able to handle them pretty well. Um, we haven't been fighting them openly. Oh, but God, there's a basement there. That's really tempting. You know what, we're going to see if we can take these two out, because they seem to be the only two here. So I'm going to wait until he gets a little bit closer and gets in this bush. Wow. I like the erratic shambling walk. It makes it so much more harder to predict their path. Alright, let's take a shot. And that's not a headshot. That's what I wanted. Come on. Okay, we got him with the second shot. Now he's just going to blow himself up. I'm not going to worry about that cash card. I should smash him when he comes closer. Ah, damn it. We've got a decayed zombie coming now. Okay, we just need to move. If we're going to make it up there. Um, not sure if they can come down the stairs yet or not. I guess we'll find out. I believe I might have been hearing noise from downstairs then. Shit. Okay, let's go downstairs. You listen to some amazing vocals. Okay, that's on our little radio. I love the sound change down here. So good. Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's amazing how much time it's saved by having the sound pack on. Okay, let's activate our flashlight. And let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Survivor zombies. A whole heap of survivor zombies. That's terrible. So they're all going to be really well equipped in terms of their armor. But you know what? I'm going to I'm going to mark this this house. So we're going to hit M, we're going to hit shift N, and I'm going to say survivor with a U because New Zealander. Uh house. I know it's going to annoy you. <laughs> okay. All right, survivor house. So we can come back here for guns and probably some really good equipment on those guys. But not when we're going to get our asses handed to us by them. Oh my god! Ugh. Okay. 
We're electrocuted. We need to get the hell out of here. Cat food. Boomer. Shocker. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, no, let's not step into the cloud. Okay. Can I? No, I'm gonna have to try and wait for it to dissipate. And run. Okay, here comes that decayed zombie. We're gonna take a shortcut through the window. And get the hell out of here. Into this house. Which has another basement. Great, Tramadol. Okay, I don't know what you do, but I'm gonna take you. Let's activate that flashlight. And it's a gun basement, and there's no one down here. Ho 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 ho. Okay. Now, we don't have a lot of uh, space to carry these things here. Shoulder strap? Uh, damn it. Actually, we probably won't be able to take almost anything. Gyroscopic stabilizer. Awesome. Um, we've got a Tanto, we've got a Bullwhip, we've got a Steel Chain, an Anlium Bat. Great, like, good stuff all around here. Um, you know what? Let's go and and we're gonna make a makeshift crowbar great we've dropped it over here um or we dropped it on the ground okay we're gonna try and pick that back up hammer switchblade what the butchering quality on this is actually really good we're gonna take that switchblade thank you excellent and the hammer versus the rock obviously the volume of the rock is a lot less but the hammer is going to be a much better hammering tool so let's drop the rock, let's take the hammer, nope, let's not take the hammer, we will be able to though. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a jostle of the inventory here. Throwing axes, that would be cool, but um, I don't think it's Noah's Jam. Let's see what we got, another USP 45, sweet, so, oh, what was that? That did not sound good, <laughs> that did not sound good at all, that sounded like something that's gonna come and try and destroy us need us so this is an, another gun that can use the 45 rounds that we already have this probably could be better for us we can see uh, okay let's 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 grab it and we'll read its uh, instructions uh, but to do that we're gonna have to drop some stuff and we're probably actually gonna drop stuff by eating it because we do have quite a bit of food here so I'm gonna start eating things until my hunger is gone so let's have a look. What are we going to do? We're going to eat that cup of pudding. So I'm just eating these little things to give us a little bit of a mood boost as well. But we are just going to eat the fresh stuff. Um, let's eat the bag of lunch meat. And we're now full. Okay, great. Okay, good. Now, we do have some chocolate drink as well. We'll drink that and we're slaked. Okay, so we can see up here that we're doing good and our mood will be pretty all around awesome. So it's going to keep us nice and focused. The music is really helping as well, which is good. Um, we can see here that it didn't actually take too much off. So I'm going to go and drop some other things. We've actually got two sewing kits, didn't realize that. So I'm going to come into here and I'm going to unload one of those and then we're going to drop the empty one. I'm also just going to quickly rename the sewing kit. So we're going to hit equals on that nope i did it wrong need to open it first equals and i'm just going to call it a because it makes it very nice and easy to activate it later on i'm actually just going to quickly rename this as well to m for music just things that make it nice and easy for you to activate them really quickly and be done with it uh, the soldering iron we're going to call s so we're going to equals s great enough distractions back to it so we've got some rubbish here that you can see so I'm gonna hit capital D and then just push any direction and then we can drop multiple things so we're gonna select the bag the can and the cups I think that's gonna do it so we've got a bit more space now so we should be able to grab this at least great we can we also got the holster so we can probably keep one thing holstered um, let's hit shift I I want to compare these two items so we've got our L3945 and the USP45. So let's see what the kind of difference is here. So it's a heavier gun. Um, we're not going to want to use it for bashing. Uh, we can see here that the damage is better. Question mark. Ah, uh, so the plus 25 is by the ammunition that's already in there, I believe. So that's how we get that. It seems that this is pretty much all around better 
Um, although in saying that, um, the recoil's a little worse and the reload time is a lot longer. Um, but the dispersion is less. Our range is effectively going to be the same, but I think that we actually do have a little bit more range on this. Um, I think this might be better. So capitalizing on the L39 B45 reputation is one of the most intimidating pistols on the market. Leadworks LLC manufactured a semi-automatic model as well. Locking it as these locking it semi-auto reduced cost and improved performance. Great. Okay. Well, that sounds like it's going to be all round good and it does take 12 rounds at a time as well. So, I think that we might actually end up leaving the USP behind. Which is really unfortunate. I love the gun, but I think that we might end up leaving it. So we're going to first of all take all the ammunition out of it. So we're going to unload it. Then we're going to drop it on the ground. Bye bye gun. Okay, let's go and rename that to G. So let's wield G. Great. We listen to a sweet guitar solo at the same time. Aren't we a boss? Okay, all right. Gonna need to concentrate now because there are gonna be all kinds of terrible things upstairs. We want the stroller strap because we want to be able to use that on uh, on rifles or anything like that that we do carry. See, all these things would be very useful. Uh, the stabilizer and everything, so this is a modification that we can use on SMGs and rifles. Uh, but it's something that we probably can't take with us right now. Now what I'm looking at here is the Tanto long Japanese knives like this more modern remake with the Samurai's backup weapon. Before the advent of the larger Wakazashi, it's still a deadly blade, even if it's smaller than its more famous relatives. Okay, this could be useful for us. So we can see that it's got a pretty decent stab. Its bash is well, there is some bash there, but then if we're having a look at the aluminium bat, the bash is 20, so it's uh, it's not bad, but let's have a look. The weight of this is a lot less, uh, and it still does quite a bit of damage. Um, it actually has quite a good butchering quality and, uh, and cutting ability as well, so we might actually take the Tanto over the baseball bat this time. The baseball bat's usually my kind of go-to weapon, but this time I think not. Um, we don't have the hammer yet, so we're going to grab a hammer. Um, and I really need that crowbar as well, so we need to, again, adjust our inventory. So, we're probably going to drop the switchblade. And, let's see. Hmm. It's just that makeshift crowbar is just, oh, it takes up so much space. But again, it does save us in the fact that it's um, it's a quiet way, well, relatively quiet way to enter and uh, exit buildings. Mm. You know what? We're going to drop that shoulder strap. We don't need it right now. Yeah, let's drop it. Okay, I still don't know if that's going to help us enough though. Yeah, see, we're still not quite right. So, I mean, I could activate the holster, holster that, and we could just carry this in our hands, but yeah, it's. It's a bit of a dilemma, actually, because um, I'm wanting to loot for other things, but we're kind of in this scenario where we're a little bit stuck. Hmm. I want to keep the soldier. I want to keep the solder. I want to keep the thread. I want to keep the batteries. I don't really want to lose any of the stuff, but we kind of have to, which is a real pain. I want that jar. That's going to be my main water container. And I don't have the screwdriver kit. I took the screwdriver. I'm guessing it's because it was a little bit too heavy. Which is a bummer. That really sucks. Mm. I d can I put the Tanto in my boot? I don't think I'll be able to. I think it's probably too big. But I'll see if I can. So if we hit activate and then our boots. Put knife in boot. <laughs> no, I didn't think so. It was worth a shot. Um, while I'm thinking about that though, I'm probably going to jump over and just check the rest of my layering by hitting plus. Um, we want to make sure that everything's layered okay. Um, like this for example, we want to have the holster beneath that, so 
we're going to move that, just hit S to grab it and then move it in. Uh, like things like this, it'll tell you it's worn next to the skin. Layering is important, you want to have things on your right layers. You don't want to be wearing socks over your boots. It's a bit weird. Um, yeah, the bullwhip is also a really good weapon. Um, yeah, I mean, I know it doesn't look like it, but it actually works like a, it works like a, a ranged weapon. You actually fire with it. It's um, it's interesting. If you can get really good with it, it can it can do some serious damage. But I'm stuck here with this dilemma on what I'm going to do. Well, the first thing I'm going to reload that L39. I wonder how much noisier it's going to be. Actually, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, damage plus 16. Yes, I think it does do just just a little bit more damage um, than the USP was doing for us. Plus, it's a more advanced gun, so fingers crossed it's going to be okay. But then again, the USP stands the test of time. Yeah, I know we've been down here deliberating for a long time, and you know what? I just figured out what we're going to do. We're going to get that bloody ass large quiver, which isn't actually taking up any volume, it's just taking up weight. Mm. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Because we're not carrying it anything, we're actually wearing it. So if there was a way we could wear the crowbar, we'd be fine. You can also just carry it in your hands and you'd be okay as well. Um, another option is actually making a lock pick, a lock pick kit, um, which is possible. Um, if we have a look under other, uh, I just need to remember what we actually need to make it. So we just need some scrap metal. So I think that these things here, these display racks, are possibly made out of metal? Or it could just be glass. Uh, there's one way to find out. We're going to wield our hammer, uh, which I'm going to now quickly rename before we do that. So... You know, we probably actually don't need the hammer as well if we have the makeshift crowbar now that I think about it. But I don't think the hammer actually takes up too much space. So let's wield again, sorry, wield the hammer, H. We're going to smash that. There we go. Scrap metal, hey, check it out. Great, okay. Now we're going to hit at, we're going to come across to here, and we're going to see if we can make an improvised lockpick. We make one. Great. Okay, let's see if we can make another one. Actually, I just need to remember what the quick key is for that. I think it's shift. No, it's not minus. Oh, there we go. So it's just it's just the minus by itself, and you can make them really really quick. Actually, we're only it's only taking us like thirty seconds to make them. Uh, I take it back. It's taking about a minute, um, but our focus is really good as well. So that's probably why we're able to do it so quickly. Um, but that's good. I'm glad that we have those. I'm now going to go to our improvised lockpicks. And we've got an L already. So we're going to go for P, for pick. So, P. Great. Alright. I think we can get out of here now. So we're going to wield the Tanto, actually. So I'm going to quickly come into here. Call that T for Tanto. Wield the Tanto. Uh, ooh, there's got actually no. There's going to be things up there. So now let's instead activate. No, we didn't put it in the holster. So let's just wield the wield wield the. Let's wield uh, L39 and poke our head up. Hey, we're not dead. Good stuff. Okay, let's check out the rest of the house while we're here. Wow, a great coat. What is a great coat? A heavy, full-length wool coat, cumbersome but warm, with deep pockets. Great. <laughs> well, it doesn't fit, so it will encumber us a really decent amount. Um, probably too much, actually. So we won't worry about that. But the hoodie, the storage on that nine, we're going to take that and we're going to wear that windbreaker, though. Uh, the volume on that is quite probably a little bit too high, actually. Um, the hoodie is encumberment we can get down um, if we actually refit it to ourselves, which we probably will try and do. Uh, but let's grab that, chuck it on, and quickly jump into here and just check our torso. We want to put that under there. 
There we go. And that's going to chuck our encumbrance up so we can see it's quite high now because the layering just isn't, it's not that great. Um, but we aren't really using melee at the moment, so we should be fine. Um, I'm going to grab those. Not going to worry about the contact lenses. Close it up for now. Just going to check the rest of the house first. Come into the front room here. There you got some heels, dress shoes, memory card. Runner pack. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we've got some more storage, which is great. And it takes a little bit of volume, but it's not so bad. Again, strapped to the torso, so it's going to wait. It's going to muck with our torso encumbrance. And oh, you can actually see it on. So freaking cool. Awesome job. Chest hole, you're doing a great job. Okay, wool scarf as well. Man, we're getting, we're getting everything we need right now, which is fantastic. So we'll chuck on the wool scarf. Um, you know what? I'll see if it's actually doing its job at the moment. Actually, our hands are the only thing that's cold, so it is doing its job, which is great. We can see that the mouth, which is still chilly, won't be won't be cold for much longer. But it is true that we have nothing on our hands, so that's something we need to rectify. And we've got a cotton hat that fits. Mm, I'm tempted to chuck that on over the instead of the fur hat. Um, although in saying that, our head encumbrance isn't too bad right now, but um, this can be worn under a whole heap of different things, so we're probably just going to take it for now. I'm going to take the thread from that sewing kit, and we're going to drop the empty one, which annoyingly isn't the one with A on it, but it should change back, and it didn't, which is a pain in the ass. So I'm just going to check that real quick. There we go. A pair of scissors. It's got good cotton quality. Now, I know we have butchering, but I don't know if we have cutting. Because the Tanto, it does have a cutting quality of 1 and a butchering quality of 18. And this just has a cutting quality of 1. So no, we can use the Tanto for all of our cutting needs. Dehydrated vegetables, we'll take them. And the dry salad as well. We're doing pretty good in terms of the food. We don't have to worry about frying pans or pots or anything like that because that mess kit we got right near the start, that's got everything we need in it. That's even got the hot plate in it. So we can we can just chuck some batteries into it and we're away laughing. It's really, really good. Um, now I'm going to quickly go onto the map and I'm going to chuck weapon modifications down here. Just so we know that they're in the basement and we should come back for them. Um, but I'm also going to go over here and let's see color codes. I've never quite figured out how to get the colors working properly. So I'm guessing G like that. Is that an example? And then if I go clear and it's green. Hey, look at that. I finally got it to work. <laughs> Uh, it's taken a surprisingly long time to get that done. Um, for everything that's clear, I want to give it a color that kind of sticks out. So I think that I'm going to go with um, cyan. Light cyan, rather. What do we want red for clear? Because I guess the houses are green. Yeah, let's, let's give red a try. So red buildings are ones that I have cleared. Nice. Weapons, mods, and a survivor's house. Wow, so Noah is looking a lot better. Um, we've got a lot more volume, so we can spend some more time in town grabbing the things that we need before we head out into the boonies. We do want to find some gloves to keep our hands nice and warm. It's only 11.23 at the moment, so there's still a little bit more time left in this first day in the apocalypse, but we can see there are all kinds of horrible things. But I'm thinking it's getting close to the point where Noah is going to want to start trying to make her way over to this evacuation shelter. That's somewhere where she might be able to call home for a while, while she scavenges the remains of what was once her precinct. I've been Rykon. You've been awesome. Thank you for joining me, and until next time... Stay tuned.